Hello, Dave Glass here with an alternate view of that iconic Harold Lloyd classic, Safety Last. Yeah, the one with the clock. Because I was watching a foreign print of it the other day and I started to notice a few differences. Which isn't surprising really because, as you may know, most of the major studios in the early days of Hollywood shot their films with two cameras. One was for the domestic market and the other was for exporting overseas. Which means if you then watch the two versions side by side, it's the same film but at a slightly different angle for certain shots, as you can see here in the background, yeah? But whilst comparing the two versions of Safety Last, I notice now and again that some shots were completely different throughout the whole film. So here's a few examples. This bit's from near the start when Harold's writing to Mildred, and as you can see, these are different takes of the same scene. Notice his leg. Mm. And then later in the back of the van, they decided for some reason to use different takes again. few scenes later, after some duplicate scenes are used and Harold falls off the trolley car, it's a completely different shot of Harold being helped back up. And then keep an eye on that fire hydrant by the policeman. Yeah. So later on in the department store, Harold, whilst cutting some material, accidentally cuts Westcott Clark's jacket, who then reprimands Harold, but only in the foreign exported print. Interesting, isn't it? And then a little later, Harold's chum, Bill, is being chased by Noah the cop, and as you can see, the shots are identical until Noah removes his cap. Look at Bill's feet, yeah? And then when Noah attempts to follow Bill up the side of the building, it's a completely different take. In fact, the foreign version is a little longer. And then there's this scene where Harold's trying to impress Mildred in the manager's office. The shots are identical until Harold takes the glass of water and, in the export print, takes a little sip. Most of the shots on the actual building climb are the same, but because of the two cameras being used, the angle reveals different shots of the backgrounds. Uh, and like the fire hydrant shot earlier, I found that there were a few very distinctive individual shots, like this one of the mouse, before he runs up Harold's trouser leg. I mean, is this a different mouse? <laughs> maybe one of them had an accident. Or maybe it's an Italian mouse used only for the foreign market. Hmm. And one of the last shots of the film is interesting, uh, where they use a different element of the rooftop chase that isn't in the domestic print. I mean, why are most of the shots identical and some different? Who knows? At the end of the day, it's still the same film. One isn't better or funnier than the other, but I just find it fascinating to uh, unearth these subtle differences. Yes, I'm a nerd, I know. If you search on my YouTube channel, you'll find more nerdy stuff if you look for Larry Seaman. Oh, and if you um, subscribe to this channel, make sure you hit the little bell symbol as well, otherwise you won't get the notifications of the new stuff. So that's it. Thanks, Harold, for being you and giving us these wonderful works of art and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye.